I will go to work exactly when I am scheduled and per the policy. This happened a few years ago. And it remains a proud moment for me. I've been enjoying reading malicious compliance posts so I wanted to share mine. I was 18 years old. Fresh out of high school. Working a customer service job with the luxury of not really caring that much about. It was just something to do so that I am not idle at home once I finished high school. I soon discovered that even though this customer service. Over the phone. Department had hundreds of employees. They were always understaffed. I had fun working there. It was a great environment. But. You couldn't just come and go whenever you want. There were scheduled shifts and sometimes at an inconvenient time, but the policies and the legal requirements made everything fair and safe. The issue started around religious holidays. There were people from many religions working in my department so taking time off on your holiday was allowed in the policy. What was an issue was convincing my manager what religion I belonged to. You see, my father is Orthodox, while my mother is Catholic, both Christian with the simple difference of having a 14 days difference for the holidays. Christmas is on December 24 to 25, and January 6 to 7 and I've celebrated both my entire life, once with my mother's family and then with my father's family, I had no intention of missing a Christmas celebration so that I can work a part-time job, but, my manager, who was from another religion, couldn't understand this, she told me, I must pick one denomination to belong to because the policy allows me a day off on one of them only. To be clear, she could have avoided the headache and thought that since I am a minority in that department there will be so many people that have no issue working those days so she doesn't have to make it in issue. But, she did. She wanted to schedule me on a day I've celebrated my whole life. And for me to go through the headache of finding a replacement. Well, that wasn't going to fly with me. I went back to my chair. And I thought, I considered taking a sick day off on Christmas Eve day. But it is about the principle of it. I wanted a recognized day off for a religious holiday the same way everyone else got and I wasn't going to compromise who I am to fit into my manager's world. I wasn't even paid for it. I looked at my schedule, and I saw that I was scheduled to go until midnight that day. I filled in for someone, and I had to start working the next day at 8 a.m. Here's the thing. The above is not an issue for me and I was able to take late and early shifts because I had a car. But it is an issue by law. Because it is not legal to schedule someone to work in a less than 8 hours difference. Per the company policy, when they say I am scheduled at 8 a.m., they actually require me to come 15 minutes earlier to boot up the computer and get ready to take on calls at 8 a.m. This was a unique opportunity and situation that was overlooked, and I went for it. That day on midnight at exactly 0 hundred I was, out, of the system. Not a second later. Next day. I made sure to not be late. I was very early in fact. But I waited until it was exactly 7.45 to log in as the policy dictated. And then I waited. I waited until the afternoon when my manager came. Me. So. I wanted to continue yesterday's discussion about my holiday off. Manager. Did you pick which one you want off? Single quote. Me. I'm going to be at home with my family on both of these holidays. What you have is a choice either. I am going to have my days off as intended. Or I will quit say it is because you scheduled me to work at a less than 8 hours difference which is illegal. And see where that takes me. My manager looked me straight in the face. Told me to wait a moment ran across the department to her manager in the HR, then came back within moments to what appeared to be the fastest decision-making ever. Manager, you have all the time off you want, whenever you want, and that is how I was considered a free bird in my department and got to pick my schedule for the rest of the year. Basically, 
I was not considered on the schedule from that moment on at all. I just came in whenever and swiped my card and that's it. Since they were understaffed at all times of the day, they didn't care that much as long as I continued to come. Truly enjoyed my time there. Probably stayed few extra months than originally planned because of this freedom. Edit. This was not a PTO. This was an unpaid leave and I was the only person in my team celebrating Christmas. I also asked about it a month in advance. Before the schedule was set. Weekly. My manager chose to make it difficult for me. To teach me the policy. So I took that policy and taught her the law. This may be the first time I've heard of someone enjoying a customer service job. Must be nice to have an 8-hour break by law. Sounds more like blackmail than MC. And here I was a lazy punk at 18 doing nothing with my life lol good for you. That's awesome. But I wanna know what the heck kind of fines there are for scheduling someone within 8 hours of their last shift that they gave you carte blanche in choosing your schedule for the rest of the time. You worked there. LOL. This is exploitation of a loophole. Old Orthodox observe Christmas in January. Even in my country, you can only take one. And on the birth certificate your religion is stated. At least here. Celebrating two sets of the same holiday with your parents and other family members since they have. Different religious beliefs is not the same as being a member of both religions. The job perk was for you to be able to take the days that were important to your religion. Not your relatives but you. Off from work. I have to agree with another commenter. You exploited a Ms. scheduling and blackmailed your employer into doing what you want instead of just notifying them of the mistake. This is not compliance at all. But definitely see the maliciousness. Wait a minute. You would boot up the computers 15 minutes before clocking in? That's illegal. You need to be paid for that time. Look into getting back pay from the labor board. I wanted a recognized day off for a religious holiday the same way everyone else got, considering. You were told to pick one date or the other. Why assume anybody else got both days off? Also, you didn't want just, a, day off. How many other workers try claiming multiple religions? To double down on religious days off? I don't doubt that your family is split. But I don't think it's fair to expect a company that's decent enough to even give those types of days off to make twice the accommodations for you. I agree with the other poster. This was less malicious compliance and more blackmail. Why do you deserve extra PTO that your other co-workers do not get? If not for the illegal schedule, there was no way you were getting both days off. This wasn't MC. Just clever blackmail. Following your logic. Anyone can claim being part of all the religions in the world and just have tons of holidays. I'm in the US and the company I work for gives us 1 to 2 floating holidays per year. We have 9 to 10 standard holidays off. If you want more days than that. You use your vacation PTO time. It was a situation of power plays on both sides. But you could have handled this so many other ways. I get that it was just a filler gig. But, still, just poorly done all around. Good story, but it's not malicious compliance, it's just plain old blackmail. Hmm, I have a similar situation. In my case Protestant and Orthodox. I never tried to use this to get extra time off or thought it made me, special. You are the reason that manager will start to hate their team. You seem to be proud of what you did. You really should be ashamed. The commenters here are a bunch of whiny jerks. Up, good for you. 
That mistake could have resulted into an investigation of the whole company they got cold feet there. Good job. Sneaky, but nicely done. Well if it's unpaid leave, why would anyone care so much? This isn't malicious compliance. And you're not clever. It's blackmail. Plain and simple. Time off for religious holidays is so you can celebrate holidays associated with your religion. Not spend time with someone else while they celebrate their religion. It'd be different if you used PTO. But no. Dot you just got free time off. If I were a colleague I'd be furious. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.